Hello, we're going to look at adding integers. In this case, the specific integers we will look at will have different signs. What I mean by that is we will look at adding, say, a positive integer with a negative integer and seeing what answer we get. Now the key for doing this will be looking at absolute values of the numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the absolute values of each of the numbers, subtract the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value, and then in the final answer, we will give it the sign of the number that has the largest absolute value. So don't worry, we're going to go over two examples to see how this process plays out. All right, so the first one, I want to look at 5 plus a negative 12. The first thing I'm going to do is look at the absolute value of each of these numbers. So the absolute value of 5 is 5, and the absolute value of negative 12 is a positive 12. Now, when I look at these, I want to find the smaller one and subtract it from the larger one. Okay? So 12 minus 5 will give me an answer of 7. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write the 7 over here, but there's one more thing I want to do. I want to make sure that the 7 has the same sign as whichever number was larger in absolute value. So if we look at our absolute values, looks like the larger one came from the negative 12. So I want to make sure this 7 has the same sign. I will make it a negative 7. So my final answer is 5 plus negative 12 is equal to negative 7. Just like that. All right, let's see it one more time in action. So I'm going to be adding together a negative 3 and a positive 9. Remember our first step, we will look at their absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, and the absolute value of 9 is 9. I subtract the smaller one from the larger one. So 9 minus 3 is 6. I record the 6 over here, and then take care of the last step, which says that the 6 must have the same sign as whichever number had the larger absolute value. So if we observe our absolute values, the larger one came from the positive 9. Therefore, my answer is a positive 6. All right, and there you have it. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.